Shout out to Goodfella TV. I heard it through the grapevine. How long it wish to be mine? Well, I heard through the grapevine that Dane the Boys and excuse me, Anthony Joshua may not be next. Alright, so boxing rumor playlist, heavyweight boxing talk playlist. Just had a workout for the books. I was like, man, I don't even feel like going. I don't feel like I'm not even gonna go. Went. One of the best workouts I had probably this year. Mm-hmm. Yep, so it was. But as I drive to Wally World, Walmart, we're gonna understand the slang. Yeah, I got a, I got a line out there that says that uh you know Daniel Boyds and Anthony Joshua might not do a media rematch. You know, nine times out of ten, or maybe seven times out of ten, when they don't do a media rematch, the rematch don't happen. Remember when Frotch and Butte, because Andre Ward didn't want to fight Butte, so Frotch got a chance to revitalize his career and became, at the time, more popular than Andre Ward because Andre Ward is going through legal issues, beat Butte, revitalized his career. Um, uh, and Butte didn't take the immediate rematch. So, it never happened. You know, so, so it may not happen. And they've been talking about that Daniel Du Bois may go right into, I mean, Anthony Joshua might just go right into a Fury fight regardless. Um, regardless of what happened with Fury and Usyk, mm -hmm. he might go right into that fight. And this would be like uh, Roy Jones and Mike Tyson fighting beyond their prime. That's what this would be like. Nobody asked for this. At all. Mm -mm. Nobody asked for this, but the word is the end of boys can be fighting Michael Hunter next. Um, that's a good word on the street. That the boys can probably just have a stay busy fight and fight Michael Hunter. I'd imagine they didn't give me a particular date, but I imagine that's most, li most likely going to happen before the end of the year. I don't know, if you're going to fight Michael Hunter, you're probably going to turn around. November, December, and fight Hunter. Maybe possibly on the Usyk Fury 2 undercard. So, um, who's, you know, Dan the Boys said, I dare Usyk to fight me again. So, that might make sense. Um, if I'm Usyk, if I be Fury again, I retire. I didn't beat everybody. You know, that's how I just need some more money. But Michael Hunter and Dan the Boys, uh, to me that sounds like a stay busy fight for Dan the Boys. And Michael Hunter, from what I understood, ain't be looking good regardless. Kind of shocker that he knocked out Martin Bacoli, but shit happened. You know, conditioning, you know, bad training camps, out of shape, short notice. You never know. So, but yeah, that kind of surprised me. Damn, they put a Shake Shack right here? Fuck, I've been at. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know where we your boy been. A Houston, Texas hot chicken? Yeah, I've been tripping. They've been putting a lot of shit over here. I don't even know if it's open. Like a hot Houston, Texas hot chicken ain't open. I don't like the Shake Shack open either. One of my ex's nieces used to work over here. I take over here all the time. I live around the corner and now, and it's like, I didn't know that shit was there. <laughs> I met this chick, whatever, and um, the city we stay in and stuff, she was telling me that she she signed up for the updates. So she knew they was having a festival, so we went to the festival and she said, I don't be knowing shit. I will not be outside. <laughs> I'm outside, I'm in the city. We're close to the city. That's crazy. Yeah, 
Well, she been staying out here for three years. I've been staying out here a year. Coming up on a year is crazy. Um, I was like, damn, you've been out here three years? Jesus Christ. I'm ready to make it a year. I be telling some chicks to come out. You live far. Nah, whatever, bitch. Some chicks be here in 0.5 seconds. It'd be crazy. But, but yeah, the boys and uh and Michael Hunter. I mean, I, Michael Hunter has some questionable fights. I heard. That's what I heard. The one on Triller. You know, so I don't know, but this is a stay busy fight. He might get upset, Dan the boys. You know, kind of in American football, I kind of would say it reminds you of uh, it reminds you of uh, it reminds you of The Raiders be upsetting the Ravens and then turning around losing to the Carolina Panthers. That might be something the boys fuck around and do. Mm-hmm. Turn around and lose to the Carolina. Turn around and lose to Michael Hunter. Sometimes you just be so excited. You the one. You on top of the world. And you lose your hunger. Sometimes you get guys that become champion and they become hungry, they become better. Because when you come, when you go to champ, you got a target on your back. Sparring. People want to make a name versus you sparring. You, you know. Everybody want an opportunity. Joseph Parker called them out. Everybody want a shot. So the boys gotta stay. Grounded. He gonna have some new hoes trying to holler at him for sure. You know, so he gotta stay grounded. But women gonna know who he is, people gonna know who he is, people gonna want a piece of him. I already know how I go. For sure. You know, just think about if you popped up. With a brand new whip, brand new beautiful crib. You popped up in a, just a Ferrari, a brand new 2026 Ferrari. Only nigga that got one. Girls that never paid attention before, you can go to the same coffee shop every day, the same gym every day, the same club every Friday night. People don't even think you exist. You can sit at the same spot in the bar. You pull up in that car. Everybody gonna pay attention to you. That's like being a champ. Everybody gonna want a piece of triple D, no diddy. Everybody gonna piece. Real talk. Everybody gonna piece. So, him and Michael Hunter. That's cool with me. And then you probably go into a Parker fight, a McCauley fight, which has to be dangerous. A Zhang fight. And Usyk rematch him. Probably enough money in, to, in for it, but if Turkey wanted to happen, it happened. I know I'm being irritating, but this shit good. So, but, uh, but, you know, AJ, you know, going into a free fight, would it be a blackout AJ Resman? No. It wouldn't be a blackout because, I mean, nobody want to see a rematch anyway. He got washed. He got washed with no laundry detergent. Nigga just got washed. This dude, nigga, in the laundry uh, drum, and he just got washed. So, nobody really want to see a rematch. Motherfucker just got washed. So, nobody want to see a rematch. Honestly. So, 
But, you know, if he do lose today in the boys' retirement, he lose to Fury retirement. Especially if Fury lose to Usyk again, his retirement. So, you know, I don't mind it. You know, AJ, he should rematch him. If he don't, he got Fury on the flow. Take Fury fight and do what you do. Get your money and hopefully, you know, if you can win, you can continue to keep going. But 34 is old in boxing, honestly. You know, he, you know, a lot of wear and tear, a lot of punishment, 10 ounce gloves. He, these are some of the big, these are the biggest heavyweights ever. Motherfuckers wearing 300 pounds walking into the ring, 280, 250. These motherfuckers is heavy. So, yeah, you taking punishment that other heavyweights ain't never took before. But that's all I pretty much got, man. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live and drop video. Financially, want to support the channel? Cash up, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. Hit the link tree, find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash up, Venmo, PayPal. Peace. Oh, yeah, don't forget, check out the Patreon. Won't be disappointed. That link's in the link tree. We out.